and welcome to this production of the My Math Network. Today's lesson, divide unit fractions by whole numbers. Looking at our previous session's homework, dividing whole numbers by unit fractions. So when we had five divided by one half, you literally had, here's one, you had to figure out how many equals one, well, that denominator. So here's the first two equal one, the next two equal two, the next two equal three, the next two equal four, and the next two equal five. You count them all up, there's Vodasway or 10. 10 halves, well, you can take, check your work, 10 halves is five but you Melinda could make 10 servings. So four divided by one fifth, you took your four whole ones, divided it by one fifth, which is divided by five in each section. There's 20 total. The six split into half was 12. Four divided into six sections, 24. Three into eight sections, 24. Two divided by one third, you can see right here. And for the ones that weren't, you needed to take, you look for that highlighted or that bolder line. And that was what was gonna tell you how many were in each section. So you figure out how many bolded sections too. There's four in each, so it's one fourth. Today, we're going to go the opposite way here. We're gonna take one six divided by two. So what two things make one six? And we've seen one half divided by three, one quarter divided by five, and so on, and then some story problems, or word problems, we really should say. This packet will begin when we, as we get into the assignment today, on page 771. And our essential question is, what strategies can be used to multiply and divide fractions? Although I've asked you to get page 771, let's begin in the part that's not in the book. How can you divide a unit fraction by a whole number? Well, if you had one sixth divided by two, you figure out which two things together make one sixth. One of the things I could do is say, okay, what's six times two is 12. So let's try with the 12s. Use models to find the quotient. So you see one third divided by two. I'm gonna let them do the work here. Divide the model to represent one third. Then divide each section into two to represent dividing by two. So here's our thirds. We divided it by two. So now there's, once I do that, I double the number of sections and I get one sixth. One of the tools that you could use also to pre um, prepare here is if you remember back under math on our Padlet, is the fra fraction tiles. And I wanna get one, one sixth right up here. Oops, too far. And I look and say, well, what side, what'll fit here? Yep, those two will fit. So that's another tool you could use. But otherwise you take the whole, divide it into three, and then divide those sections based on whatever your whole number is. Dario has a quarter of a gallon of gasoline in a canister. Pours it equally into five containers. What fraction of a gallon of gasoline is in each container? So I could take this whole thing, divide it into quarters, and then I have to divide each section into this. Take this quarter right here, represent, you know, and this is 1 20th. 
So let's go ahead and clear it. And there you go. All right, let's go ahead and get in the text on page 771. Again, the expectation is that you will fill things in as we go. That way you have an artifact. An example, Bejik, Elijah is sorting his music into playlists. One half of his music is rock. So here's your rock. He wants to make three separate rock playlists. If each playlist is the same size, what fraction of Elijah's music will be on one of the playlists? So you start by taking half. And then you divide each section into three. And I messed that up. Do, do, do. Let's get the eraser. It's always good to check your work because sometimes you mess it up. And while these aren't perfect, one third of the one half is this section here that I just made all purpley. And that represents one out of one, two, three, four, five, six. So one sixth of his music is gonna be in that stretch. But I kind of jumped ahead, so I'm gonna clear it and give you a chance to write it where you're supposed to. Make sure you put the two lines in on each. So there, I kind of already did this part here for you. So there were six sections now, and the rock one on any particular playlist was one. So that's one sixth. So one half divided by three is one sixth. three ones equals three six check your work there back to half all right let's go to the top of the next page example two in the buffet line one of my favorite places there's only a quarter of a pan of spaghetti left Three friends decide to divide this spaghetti evenly. What fraction of a whole pan of spaghetti did each friend receive? Find the unknown, which in this case is the answer. So I take my quarter and I'm gonna have to divide each part into three sections. So let's make it a little nicer there. So now each section is divided up by three because there's three. And this section that I put the X in is going to be the section that each friend is gonna receive. So go ahead and draw the lines there. That is an opportunity to pause the video if you need to. Let's move forward. You see it, sir. So now we have in our drawing, there are now 12 total sections. And one section was one. So a quarter divided by three is one twelfth. So the answer is one twelfth. Each friend receives one twelfth. If you're not using models, there are there is another way. Is I, I could do this problem. I could have taken one quarter and done the inverse operation. So instead of dividing by three. I could multiply by one third 
because remember three is three over one like this. So now I all of a sudden have one twelfth. Call it the KFC method. Well, I don't call it that. The person who taught it to me, their, their teacher called it that. Keep the first one. You flip the second. So three over one became one over three. And I changed the sign from division to multiplication. You're welcome to use that when, we, when it's not requiring a model. Um, it's how I do it. I just going to go ahead and give you just a few more seconds. Guided practice. All right. I want you guys to find the answer to number one. And this is now, yep. Go ahead and find it. Pause the video and unpause when you're ready. Check our answers here. If I, let's move it here just a bit. One third divided by three. So I take each section and I divide it into three. And I'm gonna take one piece here and I'm gonna put that X. So there's one and there's how many total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can check one ninth times three over one is three over nine. Remember multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom, which is one third. Using my other method, um, I have one third. I'm going to flip the second from three over one to one over three. And I'm gonna change my sign from division to multiplication and I get one ninth. So a couple different ways to do it. All right, I'm going to give you a couple more practice problems. Let's see if the answer is good. Oh, right after the talk math, sorry. What multiplication equation can you use to check your answer to example two? And that was one fourth and divided by three. Well, I just go one fourth times three. For two. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I want you to do number two and three. Check using multiplication. Pause the video and unpause it when you're ready. You may pause the video now. Welcome back. Let's see what we got here. So in the one half divided by six, here's our half. Divide both all sections by six. So one of the groups here is one of 12, which is you know times by one, so you can get there. 114th in this case, and you can check your answers by multiplying in both situations. Let's do just a couple more, these last two, and then I'll give you off on your work. 1 fourth divided by four, 1 fifth divided by two. Go ahead and pause the video now. Welcome back, let's see how you did. 1 16th and 1 10th. Hopefully this is going well for you. If not, please do reach out to me. We'll talk about it a little bit further. At this point, you should go into the assignment. In the paper copy, you should turn it in in the classroom. If you're at home, you can use the paper copy. Just make sure your name's on both sides. Scan or take a picture of both sides and then send it to me via text or email or you could do the problem on this side and then in the Google form, provide the answer. Um, in the Google form, I'll need this part of the answer, not the, necessarily the check. As always, if you have any further questions, please reach out to me at myrland at psychchipschool.net. 
Luminogichigad, Minwa, Pamapi, 